the small wheeled robot makes its way down the corridor, creating maps of the surroundings and relaying that information back to Army scientists. This prototype may one day lead to enhanced manned unmanned teaming, where robots perform tasks autonomously and provide soldiers with situational awareness. It was just one project Army researchers demonstrated to senior officials during a day of briefings at the Vehicle Research Laboratory and other facilities at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, September 27. Major General Eric Wesley, who serves as the commanding general of the Maneuver Center of Excellence and Fort Benning, Georgia, toured the U.S. Army Research Laboratory. Obviously, we want to optimize our budgets. We're, we're in a constrained budget era, um, but it's always about balancing near-term readiness with investing in the future. The Maneuver Center of Excellence provides trained, agile, and adaptive combat-ready soldiers and leaders and develops the doctrine and capabilities of the maneuver force and the individual soldier. Wesley said he is focused on the Army of 2030 and beyond. Just some high-dimensional representation of a target image. Army neuroscientist Dr. Jean Vettel demonstrated her research on combining human skills with computer algorithms to optimize target identification and further machine learning. So that's where I think we need to do the research to really advance um, human sciences for the human dimension. Most of the research that's been done on the SAN problem has been to mitigate the problem. Army researchers are also looking for coatings that may protect future engines from the catastrophic effects of sand. So we're trying to come up with coatings that actually repel the sand like a, a hydrophobic or an ice phobic surface would. Researchers also briefed Wesley on a 3D printed on-demand small unmanned aircraft system known as Odysseus. Odysseus is a process for rapidly designing and then deploying mission-tailored small UASs at the point of need, leveraging additive manufacturing. Future systems will have online learning as we go through, the, through these environments too, right? In robotics, Army researchers foresee the ability to perform tasks in unstructured environments where the robots have not trained before. So those are things that are just now coming into the, the academic community and the research community. I'm not here just based on mild interest, Wesley told the researchers. You've got my attention. That that For ARL-TV, I'm David McNally.